Hello everyone, my name is Kiran Bian and I am a pharmacist. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to start a new topic of the pharmacognosy subject, which is the subject of the pharmacy. So today we are going to start a new topic, which is about the family liberty. Okay. In previous video, we discussed about the family apocynacy. Now in this lecture or in this video, we are going to start a family which is known as the Libieti family. Okay. So the family name is the Libieti family and in this family, we are going to discuss about two plants. The main plants are the Osimum basilicum and Mantha peprita. So Osimum is a genus and Mantha is also a genus and Basilicum is a species and Peprita is a species. So how can we pronounce here the genus species? First the word come genus and then species. So here the Osimum is a genus and Basilicum is the species. Same as Mantha is a genus and Peprita is a species. So we are going to discuss about these two plants. Here we will discuss the chemical constituents the chemical structures and its botanical name, its indigenous, its habitat and medicinal uses, etc. Right? So here you can see in this picture that Osimum basilicum has the red color flowers in the plant, okay? And the leaves are very green in nature or very green in the appearance. They are leafy and they are showing the spongy type nature, right? Here you can see they are very leafy and they are very greenish in color and the flowers which are, which are in the uh, Osimum basilicum are the uh, red in color. Here you can see, here you can see. Okay, so this is the indication of the Osimum basilicum. So Osimum basilicum, its botanical origin or its botanical name is the Osimum basilicum or Osimum sanctum and the scientist who discovered this plant is the name was the Lin. Lin is a scientist who discovered is the botany, botany, uh, botanical uh, person or scientist we can say that discovered the this plant Osimum basilicum and his family is the Libyati as I told you or we can say that Lamid, right? So its common name is the Tulsi, right? Uh, or we can say the Nazbu. English name is the Osimum holy basil sweet basil these three are the names english names osimum holy basil sweet basil right the parts which are used in the medicinal or in the any other uh, process are the dried seeds leaves flowering tops okay these are the parts which we will use in the um, different kind of fields or different kind of uses so its chemical class is the volatile oil. What's the nature of this plant is the volatile oil. It's volatile in nature, right? And these are some, uh, you know, the headings and some uh, material we can read by this slide. So here you can see that its botanical origin or botanical name is the Osimum basilicum, Osimum sanctum. The scientist which discovered this plant was the Lin, and this family is the Libieti, or we can say that Lamiette. And common name is a Tulsi, Nazbu, and English name is the Osimum holy basil, sweet basil. And the parts, the use of the parts which are used are the dried seeds, leaves, flowering tops, and this chemical class is the volatile oil. As you can see in this slide, that chemical constituents are the linolol, which is 54.95%. Okay, methyl chevicol, which is 11.98%, and methyl cinnamate, which is 7.24%, and lin linolene, which is 0.14%, and the essential oil is also found in sweet basil. Rosmarinic acid and eugenol and geraniol, 21% is the eugenol. These are the main chemical constituents of the uh, Osimum basilicum. And these are some structures. This is the linalool structure, methyl chevicol structure, and so on. Here you can see that is isoterpene. Okay, how isoterpene, you can count here. There are 10 carbons in the structure. Okay, one, two, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड हेयर टेन टेन हेयर ओके so these 10 carbons are present in the structure so we will call it the isoterpene right monoterpene not iso sorry monoterpene we will call it so the uses are the osmium is used as a demulcent what is demulcent demulcent is the uh, therapeutic effect of the osmium basilicum which will reduce the pain of the stomach okay and it's a expectorant which will stimulate or which expectorate the uh, sputum of the lungs right used as a carminative used as a cardiac stimulant used as a flavoring agent used as an antibacterial used as an anti inflammatory used as an antipyretic and used as an antiseptic used to treat the gastric disorders right so here you examine that some are main uses of the osmium uh, basilicum the therapeutic uses are the anti inflammatory antibacterial flavoring agent cardiac stimulant carminative expectorant and demulcent and antipyretic antiseptic and gastric disorders also be treated by this plant it is also used to treat the bronchitis what is bronchitis it's the uh, you know the blockage of the bronchioles in the lungs is the bronchitis we say so it's also used in the treatment of bronchitis it is also used in the asthma it is also used in the aromatic used as a aromatic okay it is also used in the hypoglycemic it is also used as a hypotensive what is hypotensive and hypoglycemic is the deficiency of glucose or deficiency or hypotension is the lower blood pressure is known as the hypotension so the seeds of this plant are used as a demulcent here as antidote to snake and scorpion bite right and also the seeds of this plant are used as the antifungal antiviral okay so here in this slide we will discuss about the mechanism of action so mechanism of action of the osmium basilicum is the osmium shows antibacterial activity due to presence of eugenol and linalool which increase the permeability of plasma membrane inhibit the microbial respiration which causes the death of bacterial cell due to massive ion leakage now what slide saying here here i'm telling you that mechanism of action of osmium basilicum the osmium osmium basilicum has two main ingredients which is a eugenol and linalool right these two ingredients will permeate with increase the permeability of the cell membrane and by increasing the permeability of cell membrane the inner contents of the cell membranes can come out and destroy the cell so this is the main use of the uh, main uh, mechanism of the action of the osmium basilicum and its antipyretic activity is due to the prostaglandin inhibition okay what he is saying that its antipyretic which is means the uh, fever lowering activity is due to the prostaglandin inhibition okay and antihistamine effect is due to this reason that it blocks the histamine h1 receptor simple so the side effects of the osmium basilicum are the mouth and throat burns okay nausea racing heartbeat shallow breathing dizziness blood thinning in case of overdose what happens blood in urine seizures and coma these three are the uh, disadvantages so we can side effects of the overdose of the basil of the osmium basilicum <clears throat> so the dose of the osmium basilicum in case of leafy powder leaf powder we say in case of the leaf powder so 2 3 g in 200 ml of water in case of leaf infusion 4 to 12 ml okay 500 mg of leaf extract taken twice a day it's a dose of the osmium basilicum <coughs> sorry so drug interaction of osmium basilicum are the there are four drug interaction i have written in this slide so the first one is that osmium thins the blood therefore it can't taken with the anti clotting medication like warfarin and heparin as you know that warfarin and heparin thins the blood 
it thins the blood it does not clot the blood it's anti clotting thins the blood so you see here that osmum is also is a thinner is a thinner of the blood so these two have two drugs have the same effect same therapeutic effect we say so synergism effect will occur so due to synergism effect will occur there will be harmonies in the body <clears throat> it is an anti inflammatory drug care should be taken with other ansid particularly should not take with acetaminophen product so simple it is also anti inflammatory in nature so due to anti inflammatory in nature we cannot take the same drugs of the category like we say the acetaminophen products or ansid that is a non steroid uh, anti inflammatory drug so we cannot take with this uh, osmium basilicum drug right so these two drugs can interact with each other due to synergism effect will be synergism effect will occur and can harm the body it can lower the blood sugar level so it can it can't take in with anti diabetic medication so here simple words that it's also uh, useful in lowering the blood pressure okay so we cannot take the same medication of the category so it will occur the synergism effect so pentobarbital interacts with the osmium pentobarbital causes drowsiness taking osmium seeds oil with this drug might cause too much drowsiness so here simple has also the synergism effect so phenobarbital pentobarbital sorry pentobarbital interact with the osmium pentobarbital causes the drowsiness okay so pentobarbital causes the drowsiness taking osmium seeds oil yeah it means that when we are taking the osmium seed oil interact with the phenobarbital and can cause too much drowsiness that here the synergism effect is also occurring okay the precautions what precautions should be taken during the osmium basilicum uh, um, ongoing treatment so uh, the people with diabetes using anti diabetic medication should use the herb with caution okay people having low blood pressure should use this herb with caution because it lowers blood pressure as i told you previous here in this slide <clears throat> avoid its use during pregnancy because it might stimulate the uterine contraction and can lead to complication during childbirth okay here we say that uh, the osmium basilicum seeds are very dangerous in the pregnancy because it contracts the uterine so contraction of uterine can abort the baby okay avoid its use at least avoid its use at least 2 weeks before surgery right <clears throat> so here comes the second plan which is the mantha papirata <clears throat> mantha is a genus and papirata is the species genera species right so peppermint which is the also known as mantha papirata also known as the uh, balsamia wild is a hybrid mint a cross between water mint and spearmint so peppermint is a mutual combination of the water mint and spearmint what is hybrid mint hybrid mint is a combination okay combination of the water mint and spearmint the plant is indigenous to europe is now widespread in cultivation throughout all regions of the world it's a herbaceous rhizomatous perennial plant growing to 30 to 90 cm 12 to 35 inches tall with smooth stems square in cross section so simple here it it means that peppermint is a hybrid mint what is hybrid mint hybrid mint is a combination of the water mint and spearmint these two ingredients or we say they uh, these two uh, mints are the combination uh, makes the <coughs> peppermint sorry mujhe corona virus nahi hai mujhe thodi si itching hai yahan pe sorry i don't have a corona virus i have some itching in my throat <coughs> so avoid the plant is indigenous to europe so plant is indigenous to europe its habitat is a europe but now it's worldwide widely cultivated in all regions of the world so uh, it's a herbaceous it's herbaceous rhizomatous okay and the perennial okay and the sizes are here <coughs> the rhizomes are wide spreading fleshy and bare fibrous roots so here you can see that 
chemical constituents of the mentha papeta okay <clears throat> so this is the geography you can see here the colors different colors is a menthol is a 37 percent here is a 37 percent menthol and menthol is a 22 percent here you can see the 22 percent and sorry and one one eight signal okay five percent and isomenthol four percent methyl acetate four percent neomenthol four percent and others right so these are some chemical constituents of the mentha papeta okay so these are some chemical structures of the mentha papeta you have to draw these structures by yourself and practice more okay so the uses of mentha papeta Peppermint has a high menthol content and is often used in the tea, confectionery, and also for flavoring ice cream, chewing gum, toothpaste. Very easy, understandable slide that uh, peppermint has a high menthol content, okay, which was the 37% here. <coughs> 37%. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> So menthol is high in content, so it can be used in the tea, confectionery, for flavoring ice cream, chewing gum, and toothpaste. <laughs> so it's itching and skin irritation. So peppermint, when applied topically, okay, topically means when we apply topically here, has a soothing and cooling effect. Has a soothing and cooling effect on the skin. Irritation caused by high poison EV or poison oak. What does this? Highs, yani when we do this, this where the, by this causing the irritation, so this irritation can be treated by this plant. Okay, so tension headache. One small study suggests that peppermint applied to the forehead and temples help reduce headache symptoms. So it's one study suggests that the when we are having the or when the patient having this small headache, tension headache. Then applying the some uh, peppermint mentha uh, mentha peppermint on his forehead that people can be fine. Colds and flu peppermint and its main active agent menthol are effective decongestant because menthol thins mucus. It is also a good expectorant, meaning that it helps loosen felgum and breaks up cough. It is soothing and calming for sore throats, pharyngitis, and dry cough as well. What is this? That mentha papeta can also be used in the colds and flu. How? Because peppermint and its main active agent, menthol, have a high effective decongestant activity. <coughs> because menthol thins the mucus. It's expectorant, okay? It's expel out the sputum from the lungs, meaning that it helps loosen pelgum and breaks up cuff, okay? It is soothing and calming for sore throat hair, which I have a sore throat in my throat. So I should must take this pentha papeta for my treatment. <laughs> so one animal study suggests that peppermint may have radioprotective effects in patients undergoing cancer treatment. Okay. The aroma of peppermint has been found to enhance memory. As such, it can be administered by instructors to their students before examination to aid recall. Peppermint flowers are large nectar producer and honeybees as well as other nectar harvesting organisms for, forage them heavily. What does it mean? The leaves or the roots of this plant have the highest place for the honeybees which will stay on that plant and make his uh, make uh, its or his the uh, honey on that plant and mild pleasant varietal honey can be produced if there is a sufficient area of plant so simple it does it means that the peppermint flowers are the large okay due to large ha having a large area of the uh, plants or leaves they can give the honey bees for the production of the uh, harvesting the nectar Peppermint tea is prepared from dried leaves of the plant and is widely available commercially. Peppermint spread like tincture contains 10% peppermint oil and 1% peppermint leaf extract in an alcohol solution. A tincture can be prepared by adding one part of peppermint oil to nine parts pure grain alcohol. 
enteric coated capsules are specially coated to allow the capsule to pass through the stomach and into the intestine 0.2 ml of peppermint oil per capsule. Creams or ointments should contain 1 to 16 percent menthol. So simple, what does ginger mean? It's a, hydro, it's a hydroalcoholic a compound. Okay, so these are some measurements of the um, ingredients of the peppermint, which is will be in the different different kind of products like creams, ointments, and tincture, and etc. Okay, so how to take this mentha peppermint in pediatric and in adults? So in pediatric, do not give peppermint to an infant, infant or small child. Peppermint oil applied applied to the face of infants can cause life-threatening problems in addition peppermint tea may cause a burning sensation in the mouth for digestion and upset stomach in older children 1 to ml peppermint glyceride per day okay so an adult tea steep one teaspoon dried peppermint leaves in one cup boiling water for 10 minutes strain and cool drink four to five times per day between meals peppermint tea appears to be safe even in large quantities enteric coated capsule like one to two capsule 0.2 ml of peppermint oil two three times per day for ibs tension headaches Using a tincture of 10% peppermint oil to 90% ethanol, lightly coat the forehead and allow the tincture to evaporate. Itching and skin irritation, apply menthol, the active ingredient in peppermint in in peppermint in a cream or ointment form no more than 3-4 times per day. So here my video is ended. If you like this video for your uh, any kind of purpose like your exams or taste or uh, for your general knowledge, so please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel because by subscribing this channel, you will see more videos in my channel. There are some playlists in my channel. If you open my channel and open my playlist, you will find some more videos, interesting videos. And don't forget to press the bell icon because by pressing the bell icon, you will receive my notification of new upload. Okay, so be safe at home and take care.